Thus saith the Lord God, When I shall have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered, and shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the heathen, then shall they dwell in their land that I have given to my servant Jacob. And they shall dwell safely therein, and shall build houses and plant vineyards. Yea, they shall dwell with confidence when I have executed judgments upon all those that despise them round about them. And they shall know that I am the Lord their God. The scriptures reveal to us that Satan has deceived the whole world. For Satan to deceive the whole world, the people must believe the lies. Satan imitates everything the Most High does. Impersonating the Most High is how Satan gathered many people to follow and worship him in the beast culture. There are many prophecies Satan imitated in the beast system that led many people to believe those prophecies are fulfilled. The scriptures reveal to us in the book of Matthew, if it were possible, the elect would be deceived. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. The reason the remnant will not be deceived, they are following the Most High and being led by His Spirit. Also, the Most High is setting his people free with the truth they are receiving in the prophesied awakening. Those with an ear to hear will receive the knowledge and fulfill what the scripture said. In the last days, knowledge would increase. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. The scriptures warn the people of the Most High in numerous verses to not let anyone deceive them, especially in the last days. We are entering a new era. In the new world order, the kingdom of darkness seeks to imitate many prophecies. There are many people who believe what is taking place in the world today is the end time prophecy of the mark of the beast. Before the mark of the beast could happen, there are other prophecies that must take place first. I want to show you how Satan imitate the prophecies and how he used religion and other wicked establishments to support his deceptions. For Satan to imitate the prophecies, he had to alter the scriptures first. The Most High made it known in the book of Maccabees that the heathens opened the book of the law and painted images of themselves and laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. In hidden cities and towns, the prophets, the Messiah, and the chosen people are depicted as indigenous black people, while in majority of this world, the people of the scriptures are depicted as European. The European images are promoted at the center stage in the beast system. It doesn't matter the location of the land or the group of people that are indigenous to the land. The beast culture depict the people as European. Slaves and the people they believe did not contribute to society are depicted as the indigenous black people. Who are the heathens that inserted the likeness of themselves into the scriptures? The images that are highly circulated in the beast culture of the Messiah and the chosen people are of European descent. If the Most High said the heathens inserted images of themselves into the scriptures, this would conclude the highly circulated images of the prophets, the chosen people, and the Messiah are not the true depiction of the people in the scriptures. Today, the seed of the fallen are depicted as the people of the scriptures, as well as the original people to all nations. Inserting their likeness in the scriptures are not the only alterations the heathens done to the Bible. They removed many books, as well as inserted certain words to support their theories. For example, the word Jew was not around prior to 1775. The word Jew was inserted into the Bible to support the Jewish people's claims of being the chosen people. Once the alterations were complete, the kingdom of darkness began to imitate the prophecies. The first step the kingdom of darkness have done was to take the identity of the people that were made in the image of the Most High. 
Satan accomplished this by planting terrors among the indigenous black people. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. Whitewashing the original people is the primary way the kingdom of darkness deceived many into accepting the seed of the fallen as a part of the original people made in the image of the Most High. The indigenous people accepted the new species of mankind as a part of the Most High's creation through deceptive teachings in the school system and the manipulation of history. The seed of the fallen has claimed the identity of the indigenous black people all over the world. Because the history they have taught in the school system does not align with the scriptures as well as the world history, there are many controversies surrounding the origin of the Caucasian people. How can the Caucasian species be indigenous if they cannot produce children with all features? The Caucasian female do not have the genetics to create indigenous black children. If the Caucasian female cannot produce indigenous children, how can she be original? Their DNA testify against them. The black woman can produce children with every feature. This is a gene she inherited from the first woman, Eve. I have seen a comment made by a Caucasian male on one of my videos saying, if black people carry the dominant genes, how can white people's DNA white out black people's genes? When two different species of mankind come together, they can never reproduce themselves. That is why the scriptures say, do not crossbreed. The Most High do not want his people to crossbreed animals, nor wear clothing with two different materials. Yah certainly do not want two different species of mankind to reproduce. It takes two of the same kind to reproduce itself. You shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. Whiting out the indigenous black people does not happen overnight. There is a process to white out a bloodline. If the seed of the fallen could white out the indigenous black people instantly, by now all the indigenous people would have been whited out especially with the rise of interracial relationships in mainstream media. If a biracial person's offspring only procreate with Caucasians, of course their seed would be whited out. If the biracial person procreate with an indigenous person and continue to do so in every generation, the bloodline will return to be indigenous by the fourth generation. The scriptures made it clear that it takes three to four generations to cleanse your blood. You cannot use a carnal mind to understand the affairs of the Most High. You can only understand spiritual matters with the Spirit of the Most High revealing the truth. Albeit when He, the Spirit of truth, is come, He will guide you into all truth. For He shall not speak of Himself, but whatsoever He shall hear, that shall He speak and he will show you things to come. A white man and a white woman produce white children. A black woman and a black man make black children. A black man and a white woman produce a biracial or mixed person. Too many indigenous black people are believing the workers of iniquity when they tell you that you are creating black children when you cross breed with the other species of mankind. The Caucasian species understand fully that a biracial person is not Caucasian until the fourth generation. They automatically label the biracial person mixed and place them in the people of color category. Only the indigenous black people believe the biracial and mixed people are indigenous black people. The children that are begotten of them shall enter into the congregation of the Lord in their third generation. Biracial and mixed people are one of the most confused groups of people. There are many biracial and mixed people telling their stories on social media. There are some biracial that are pleading with the black and white communities to stop making biracial children. Due to black people fetish of wanting mixed children, also many black indigenous people believing they are creating black children when they procreate with non-indigenous black people, the biracial and mixed population will continue to increase. In the Caucasian community, there is an urgency to increase the Caucasian's population. 
Biracial children is another method they use to increase their population. If the low birth rates continue in the Caucasian community, biracial people will continue to exist. I hope you are beginning to understand the reason the kingdom of darkness had to take the identity of the indigenous people worldwide. With the whitewashing of many nations and the heathens altering the scriptures, as well as painting their likeness into the scriptures, Satan was able to pass off the seed of the fallen as the descendants of the Israelites. Knowing who the true children of Israel are today would end the confusion surrounding the last days. Remember, confusion comes from the kingdom of darkness. But God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. There are many prophecies surrounding the chosen people. If the people cannot identify who the chosen people are today, how could they know the times they are living in? Up until the awakening, many people accepted the Jewish people as the descendants of the Israelites in the Bible. There are many indigenous people who support the state of Israel and the Jewish people because of the doctrines they have learned in the house of bondage, the church. Remember, religion is not of the Most High. Satan is the founding father to all religion. The 12 tribes of Israel are scattered all over the world, and they will remain scattered until the Most High gather his people. And they shall know that I am the Lord, when I shall scatter them among the nations and disperse them in the countries. The synagogue of Satan used the gathering of the Israelites to imitate many prophecies to deceive the whole world. The kingdom of darkness used the gathering of the 12 tribes of Israel to establish the state of Israel in 1948. They used the prophecy of gathering the 12 tribes to occupy land in the Middle East. That is the real purpose for establishing the state of Israel. The scriptures reveal that the Most High would scatter his people to the four corners of the world. The kingdom of darkness used the expulsion of the Jewish people from many nations to fulfill the Most High exiling his people out of the promised land. Being expelled from a country and exiled by the Most High are two different things. The Israelites were scattered throughout the world due to their idol worship and constant abominations. Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own way and by their doings. Their way was before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman. Wherefore, I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathen and they were dispersed through the countries. According to their way and according to their doings, I judged them. The Jewish people of today always maintain a clean image of them worshiping their God. They pride themselves on knowing the laws and statutes of their God. The scriptures revealed the Most High exiled the Israelites from the promised land, not from multiple countries. The Jewish people were expelled from many nations due to deceptive practices, not for idol worship. The Jewish people were not living in the promised land when they were expelled from multiple countries. Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 17 revealed the Israelites were living in the promised land before they were scattered. The scriptures revealed the Israelites would be servants and treated poorly among the heathens. They would be captive people in all the nations they live. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence and will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten. They are so evil. And I will persecute them with the sword, with the famine, and with the pestilence, and will deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth to be a curse and an astonishment and an hissing and a reproach among all the nations whither I have driven them. When the Jews were expelled from those countries, they were not sent into slavery. They were refugees and immigrants who were allowed to stay in other countries. Not once in history did the Jewish people become slaves in the nations they live. Today, they are among the richest and most protected groups of people in the world. The events, the workers of iniquity used to solidify the Jewish people as the descendants of the Israelites does not align with the scriptures. Let us continue to expose Satan's deceptions. The gathering of the Israelites is an important prophecy. 
Once the Israelites are gathered and put back on the promised land, Yeshua's thousand year reign begins. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. In 1948, the synagogue of Satan established the state of Israel and gathered the Jewish people from the land of the north, the Middle East, America, and Ethiopia to place them in the newly created state of Israel. The workers of iniquity used the right of return to steal land. Many Gentiles supported the gathering of the Jewish people. However, many people failed to identify the many events that must take place before the gathering of the people of the Most High. The Most High said he would gather his people from the four corners of this world. The synagogue of Satan gathered people from four locations, Europe, the Middle East, Ethiopia, and America. What about the land of Elam and the islands of the sea? And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Paphros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The 12 tribes are dwelling in all nations. How can the scriptures be fulfilled if the workers of iniquity gathered the Jews from America, Europe, the Middle East, and Ethiopia? Israelites, it is important for you to remember, the Most High said he would gather his people from all the countries he sent them. There are many Israelites contemplating leaving the countries the Most High placed them. How can the scriptures be fulfilled if the people of the Most High are fleeing the places he sent them? Remember I said to you, the Most High has multiple purpose for a trial or tribulation. I truly believe the Most High used COVID to prevent his people from fleeing the places he sent them. 2019 was the year of return declared by Ghana. Many indigenous black people left and went to Ghana and many other countries in Africa. Before 2019 was over, COVID came and disrupted everyone's lives, causing everyone around the world to isolate and remain grounded. Sometimes what is meant for evil, the Most High use it for good. For the Israelites who need reassurance, the Most High said he would save his people from Jacob's trouble. But as for you, Ye thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good, to bring to pass, as it is this day, to save much people alive. There is not a place you can go when the tribulation begin. Right now, we are enduring the times of sorrows or the birth pain. The tribulation period will be worse than what we are witnessing today. Not only will you be persecuted, but you will be killed for serving the Most High, but also for not worshiping the image of the beast. That time has yet to arrive. The Jewish people have been living in the state of Israel since 1948. Where is the Messiah? The scripture revealed the thousand year reign would be in effect once the Most High gathered his people and placed them back on the promised land. David, their king, would reign with them. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whither they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all, neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people, and I will be their God. And David my servant shall be king over them, and they all shall have one shepherd. 
They shall also walk in my judgments, and observe my statutes, and do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt. And they shall dwell therein, even they and their children, and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Israelites, before you accept what appeared to be the fulfillment of the prophecies, ask the Most High for a double portion of the spirit of discernment. Ask the Most High to saturate you with his spirit to receive truth and understanding. Satan's imitations of the Most High's prophecies are very deceptive. If the Most High does not give you understanding and allow you to know the mysteries, you will become a casualty in the beast system. As for discernment, that way you will begin to have an eye to see and ear to hear. Some have not because they ask not. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Presently, the synagogue of Satan is trying to imitate the end time prophecy, the mark of the beast, as well as the tribulation period. I guess they want to rapture the church away to their underground bunkers. I'm not sure where the rapture believers are going because the scriptures does not discuss no such event. I know the gathered Israelites will go to the promised land the Most High gave to their fathers to fulfill the everlasting covenant promise. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. And ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. The synagogue of Satan want to use the gathering of the Israelites as the foundation to the rapturing of the church. The kingdom of darkness promised to rapture the believers right before the start of the tribulation. The scriptures does not support the doctrine of the church. The scriptures said in Matthew chapter 24, after the tribulation period, Yahshua would return and the Most High will gather his people and place them back on the promised land. The people that died for the word and not worship the image of the beast, the Israelites who survived the tribulation, will reign with Yahshua in the thousand year millennial kingdom. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Duality is the strategy Satan used to bring confusion and to mask his deceptions. If the people of the Most High can comprehend duality, they will have a better understanding of the world they live in. By imitating the Most High is how Satan deceived the whole world. The best examples I can share with you is the two messiahs and the two chosen groups of people. The Most High sent his messiah to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yeshua came to do the will of the Father. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Satan's Messiah has become the God of this world. He came to save the world. Satan's Messiah has a graven image circulating all over the world. Satan's Messiah loves to be worshipped just like the one who sent him. Satan's Messiah has several holidays dedicated to worshipping him. Satan's Messiah promised to save all who accept him as their Lord and Savior. Forget about repenting and serving the Most High in the Spirit and in truth. Satan's Messiah said just believe in him. And that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. The synagogue of Satan chose the Jewish people as the chosen people. The Most High selected the indigenous black people that are made in his image. The chosen people are the descendants of slaves scattered all over the world. Satan used half-truth to make his deceptions believable. If you can understand duality, you will gain an edge. 
for the numerous misinformation the workers of iniquity spread in the beast system about the indigenous people, the time has come for the workers of iniquity to be censored. Israelites, the gathering of the Israelites is an important prophecy that the people of the Most High must understand. Before we reach that stage of redemption, make sure the prophecies the Most High declared from the beginning are taking place in the order the Most High said it would happen. Do not allow the kingdom of darkness to deceive you with half-truth. The beast culture do not represent the Most High. There are many that have chosen the beast system. That is why narrow is the road that leads to life. Only a remnant would return and only a remnant will be saved. Despite the people of the Most High being as numerous as the sand, only a few will find the narrow road. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness. I want to reassure the people of the Most High that Yah will take care of the remnant. If you can stay focused on the Most High and allow Him to order your steps, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Make sure to put on the whole armor of the Most High. As we wait for the Most High to redeem His people, let the peace of the Most High be with you. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly, who are of thee, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out. And I will give them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. At that time, while I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth, when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith the Lord.